Hello, Joseph here. I just wanted to show you quickly how I uh, do a small uh, batch of ex uh, honey ex extraction using our automatic two frame spinner. Basically, we removed the whole super, honey super, out of the box. Most of it was capped. We do have a little bit uncapped honey there, but the rest of it was fairly good. I use this fork, which basically comes very handy, as you will see. Uh, it uncaps it without much damage to the to the rest of the wax. on this side. And again, if you have only two hives or three hives like I do, that is all you need to do. You don't need to invest as much. the wax on that side, I've got to be a little bit more careful. I'll show you our automatic extractor. Show the buckle, where am I? Buckle. You basically uh, put it inside here. So we have two frames, one right there, one right there. You have an on switch. This is the Vivo automatic extractor. And you have a speed controller. I tend to bring it up slowly. Bring it up to 50 until it starts running smoothly. Not yet. And to hold it down, basically, um, I put nails to the ground. Helps hold it down. I put a bucket in the front with the sieve. It's a fairly quiet unit. And if the frames are balanced, you're not gonna have this shaking going on, but unfortunately those frames were not equally uh, full. It's the first time that I'm using it too, so.
the one thing that I need to show also is um, you need to basically turn them around. This is the side that we just extracted. So I'm going to put it back with this side, which still has the honey in it. And you could see honey flowing to the bottom of the tank. We'll bring this up again. So about 50, you could see some of the honey twist uh, flying out, being extracted. Now the one design flaw that they have with, with, this, uh, with this tank is actually right here. The honey gate is slightly too far up from the bottom. So even though we're, we're still going to be able to extract some honey right now, I'll show you. Because we uh, put in about four frames and we've got plenty of honey coming out. But um, the first batch that you will see that you extract is going to sit in the bottom of the, of the tank. Uh, simply because there's... A bit of a lip between the bottom and the honey gate itself so unfortunately it just sits there um, that's the one design flaw that I could see so far other than that it's a fairly quiet system um, as you could see um, it's the vivo automatic extractor that's all I use for my extracting and then as you as I pointed out before I have this fork that I bought I believe from either Amazon or eBay works great as you saw those are my cappings and that's the one super that we uh, took off the spring for some spring honey and you can tell that it's spring honey because it's very clear I love spring honey it's a lot cleaner a lot less um, robust I should say uh, it's very uh, sweet all right that's it for today now I'll leave you with that and continue to extract my uh, my super my honey super have a good one